But while frustration levels are rising for UT football coaches, players, and fans, they can't really be too shocked because the one thing the Horns have been pretty consistent at over the past month are late game collapses. Here's Fox 7 Austin's Dennis De La Pena with more. Despite blowing double-digit second-half leads and three straight losses, Coach Sark continues to opt for optimism. You sit here at 4-4, four and four and, I mean, all of us in here can probably count on one hand, you know, plays that we could be sitting here at 7-1, and one, and this is a much different press conference. As for the reality, Sark's horns are now all but out of Big 12 title contention, looking for new motivation and thirsting for confidence. At some point, if you if to, to triumph and to do something special, you have to struggle, and, and clearly we're in the midst of the struggle. you got to make those plays. Big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. We've got to somehow figure out how to cut the crap and just do it. If we keep talking about a, you know, a Bruce psyche, we're going to get a Bruce psyche. At this point, like it's almost impossible to not see a criticism or negativity. But, you know, we just have to have thick skin. Thick skin and a clear mind to actually make the plays that can turn this thing around. Horns head to Ames, Iowa as a touchdown underdog, largely due to inconsistency. A missed tackle here, a blown assignment there, and a case of the drops this past Saturday have the horn sliding while at the same time feeling close to breaking through. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I feel we have you know great talent on this team, you know, to, to go as far as we any, any, as anybody in, in the country. I, I do, I honestly do feel like we are a dangerous team, a dangerous team that just hasn't finished yet hasn't fi finished dangerous. It does take time, and it just doesn't take one person that does that. I think it takes everybody. And I think we are at that point where everybody's really like, okay, now nah, enough is enough. Dennis Delapena, Fox 7 Austin Sports.